Last season, in the last six games of the year, Denver Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy really established himself as a favorite target for Russell Wilson and really broke out as the team's number one wide receiver. He finished the year with six receiving touchdowns and just 28 yards shy of his first 1,000-yard season. The Broncos clearly believed in Jerry Judy enough as their future at the wide receiver position to pick up his fifth-year option. Now, Bigger and better things are expected for Jerry Judy in his first year under Sean Payton's offense and his second year working with Russell Wilson. The hope here in Denver is that Jerry Judy will play a big part in Russell Wilson bringing back some of the former glory that we saw of him for his 10 years in Seattle. In fact, one NFL pundit in particular, NFL.com's Bucky Brooks, has really, really high hopes for Jerry Judy this season. Let's take a look at what he had to say. Now, this information indirectly is coming from Mile High Huddle. The route running specialist has a chance to emerge as the Broncos' featured pass catcher in Sean Payton's offense. As a versatile playmaker with the potential to create mismatches from the slot or out wide, Judy gives Payton a versatile chess piece to deploy all over the chessboard. Given the creative play caller's success with Michael Thomas, Brandon Cooks, Marcus Colston, and many others over the years, Judy could finish with 100 plus catches as Denver's number one option. Now I already know what a lot of you guys here in Broncos country are going to say. Jerry Judy isn't our number one receiver, Cortland Sutton is. Personally, I feel like the last six games of last year really proved that that's no longer the case. Cortland Sutton still figures to be a very key part of this Denver Broncos offense. Same goes for Tim Patrick and Marvin Mims, who was drafted in the second round. But at the end of the day, Jerry Judy is the guy with the first round pedigree, and he seems to be the guy who has the best rapport with Russell Wilson at this point in time. It looked like in training camp last year that that guy was going to be Tim Patrick before he went down with his torn ACL. And who knows, maybe that'll happen again this year and Russ will refine that chemistry with, Kit with Tim Patrick, but I really feel like Cortland Sutton is not no Russell Wilson's favorite target. He's just not. He's not his number one target. Now, that's not to say that, that Cortland Sutton will not be a big part of this offense. He's still our best 50-50 ball guy, and he's got a freakish catch radius because of his size. So, he's still an excellent jump ball guy, and Russell Wilson will continue to use him in those situations. Now, if we come over here and take a quick look at the Denver Broncos unofficial depth chart at wide receiver according to rlads.com. You'll see here that Cortland Sutton and Tim Patrick are listed as the two outside wide receivers. Jerry, Ju Jerry Judy listed as our starting slot. Marvin Mims, I feel like he should be more in the slot category than the outside category, but they've got KJ Hamler listed as the direct backup to Jerry Judy in the slot. But as we've talked about earlier, Jerry Judy can play both the slot and outside as well. Now, of course, we've also got Marquez Callaway, who we signed in free agency from the New Orleans Saints, as well as little Jordan Humphrey, Taylor Grimes, an undrafted free agent, Brandon Johnson and Jalen Virgil still around, Kendall Hinton, Hall of Fame quarterback still around, not sure about his chances to make the roster. Montreal Washington, technically listed as a wide receiver, but he's more of a gadget guy slash punt returner, and I really feel like he's in danger of getting cut even before training camp starts, quite frankly. So we've got some really interesting pieces at the wide receiver position, and it's going to be a really interesting battle for those bottom spots. But at the end of the day, it really feels like Jerry Judy is poised to be the Broncos' top target in 2023 just because of his rapport with Russell Wilson and what Sean Payton has been able to do with wide receivers of a similar skill set in his previous years in New Orleans. So, I'm curious, Broncos country, what are some realistic stats to expect from Jerry Judy next year as the Broncos' number one wide receiver? Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support. It helps tell YouTube to push us out to fellow members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.